Danielle Medvedev burst onto the scene in 2019, and one of the reasons is because he has a dominant serve. He served huge in the big moments, and today I want to break down his serve technique and show you how you can implement some of the great things that he does on his serve to help you get to the next level with your game. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. I'm passionate about helping millions of players worldwide get to the next level and do it in an easier and faster way. In fact, recently I received a testimonial. I screenshotted it. It's from Instagram. The guy says he learned more from me in two to three months than he did in the last 10 years. And those are the kind of, that's the kind of feedback that I get often, whether I'm on the court or giving lessons online, that this learning is accelerated. And I want you to jump on board the Tennis Evolution train. And so let's get into Medvedev's serve right now. We don't want to waste any more time. I really want to bring you a lot of value. And we're going to start with this lesson. We're going to take you through the motion. Okay, let's look at his serve right now. It's from a uh, back, a side view, seeing, showing his back. So there'll be some elements that we won't see today. But there are a lot of good things that we can see from this view. And so here's where we want to start. We want to start with the beginning. Now, he's a lot like Federer in that he's on his front foot at the beginning. Now, I didn't get the motion a little bit earlier than this, so he might be leaning forward more with his serve than what we see here. I'd like to see him a little more forward a la Federer, but you can see that more of his weight is on his front foot. I also want you to know his racket position. See how the racket strings are tilted up towards the sky a la Novak Djokovic. For those of you out there learning to serve at a higher level, if you want more topspin and more spin and more control, I advise you to get your grip over more towards a backhand, towards move it towards the backhand side uh, to be more of a strong, what I call a strong continental and get the strings to face up. That will remind you to get a lot of spin or more spin on your serve. So I like how he starts with the weight forward. I like how the racket strings are tilted up. Then I like how he shifts back to the back foot. Now, again, I think, just like I said, he could be more forward at the beginning. He could be more back at this phase of the swing, a la Pete Sampras. He could be loading his back leg. His back leg could be a little more bent. But overall, he does have a nice weight shift. The next thing I want you to notice is when he tosses the ball, he just tosses it straight from his front quad. He's not turning his tossing arm. He's not doing a J toss. He's not doing anything complicated. He's just starting with a st relatively straight arm from the quad and tossing straight up out in front of him. Looks like it's at about a 45 degree angle with his tossing arm towards the net post. He extends that arm straight. And then I want you to notice when he releases the ball, look at where his racket is. It's what I call a delayed racket hand. He doesn't do the the down together, up together motion that everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, a lot of coaches teach and a lot of players use. It's not down together, up together. You toss the ball, then you bring your racket up. Now, he has a pretty high toss. We'll see at contact how much does it really drop. You know, it drops a good two and a half feet. I would like to see his motion get going a little bit faster. Okay, so when he releases the ball, I'd like to see him bending his knees now. That means he would need to move his back leg up and bend and probably get his racket up a little bit sooner into trophy. I feel like the toss does drop a little too much. That'd probably be one thing I would work on if I would get things moving a little bit more, a la Goran Ivanisevic. Not quite as fast as Goran, but certainly we'd get it so where it only drops if that's the height of the ball, the ball he'd make contact about right there. So he'd have to toss it lower and get his motion moving a little bit more. Now he does have a pinpoint stance. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I'm a platform guy. However, lots of great servers, a lot of great servers use that pinpoint stance and he does a great job with it because he does push off of his back foot. 
You can see him loading his back leg. He's not just bringing his foot up and, and putting his toe on the ground and barely pushing off. He is pushing off his back foot. So if you're going to do the pinpoint, you should model someone like Medvedev, okay? Now, look at that racket drop. This is where he makes up for any type of inefficiencies anywhere else. Look at where his hand is way below his elbow. That's incredible flexibility and incredible range of motion through his thorax, through the front of his chest. Great job with the racket drop. Great job with his side bend here. His upper torso, his torso is side bending to the left. His legs are relatively straight. He's making contact in front, okay? It's not too far in front, but it is in front, and he has good pronation at that phase of the swing. And then he lands inside the court. Look at that landing, kicking the back leg back, bent over with the upper body. That is picturesque and textbook right there. For those of you serving, if you're bending over too much on your serve, I recommend you being taller at this phase of the swing. Okay, great stuff here. And then he comes down on his next leg right here. I teach this a lot where you land on your front foot, you bring the second foot down, and then you can get back and prepare to balance. Okay, so let's review this again real quick. Some of the things I really like. I like him starting forward and I like the racket the racket strings facing up at the beginning. That's a good start, although he could be more forward. I like him shifting back, although he could be more back. I like how he tosses the arm with a straight arm and he extends out towards the net post and that he delays his hand, that it's not coming up at the same time as the tossing arm. Another thing I like that I didn't point out is this 90 degree angle right here. His arm is in a great position right here. So his trophy position is nice. I like how he brings his back foot up and loads his back leg into trophy. I also like how if I draw a line from the front of the face straight down through his body, this racket does not break the plane. It stays on the right side of his body. That means he's loading well with his lower body. Very efficient. I like the toss out in front. I wish the toss was a little bit lower and he got his motion going faster. I like the pronation. I like the landing and I like the balance. So other than maybe making the toss a little bit lower and starting more forward and shifting to the back foot more, this serve is awesome and one to model. So for, for those of you out there, pick one of these concepts I've shared with you today and see if you can implement it into your serve to help you get to the next level and serve your best. Now, I hope you got a lot of value out of this lesson. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, share this video with others, turn on your notifications, subscribe to the channel so you can be updated on all the latest releases, and take our free gift. I'm giving you a free gift. You click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video, and you'll get access to a free tennis course that will help you play your best tennis. And this is what we want for you. It's inside our free Tennis Evolution app. All you have to do is click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to get our premium content so you can learn faster and easier. And remember, two to three months from me can be faster learning than the 10 years, the previous 10 years of your training. And that's what I want for you. Thanks so much for your time today.